welcome back to the channel everyone so um aerial defense terence crawford on again off again fight is now off as terence crawford's team announces he will be fighting one david avanesian on december 10th this crawford guy is starting to make bob arum look good i'm telling you never really liked bob arum but now there's some truth to what he was saying all this time crawford is very very hard to do business with and quite frankly i'm starting to wonder whether he and his team are worried about losing the O on their record because there's absolutely no reason for bailing out of this fight with Spence. It's a fight all the, the boxing fans want to see. Uh, they have supposedly agreed to all the terms on the contract. And right now, I, I personally will refuse to watch any Terrence Crawford fight unless it's against Errol Spence Jr. What's going on is, is just typical of boxing. We've seen it for years now, the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather scenario where they fought five years too late. And this fight is going to start losing its appeal very, very soon because these fighters are now 33 and 34 years old. And it's got to happen now. So apparently, they may have it rescheduled for February 4th. But what happens now if Crawford gets injured or something happens with this fight with Avanesian and for some reason he can't commit to the February 4th date, it'll get pushed back again. It's just ridiculous. Fight Spence, that's the only fight at welterweight everyone gives a rat's ass about. And there's no excuse for Terrence Crawford bailing out of this one. I'm disgusted. I will literally not watch any one of his fights until he fights Spence. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe below.